Now in the Jason, a cabin cruiser loaned to him by friends, he sets out in search of the Golden Fleet. For Diefenbaker, the fleece must be sought wherever there are delegates who will support him. He finds many in BC, but not all will vote for him. Now he heads back east to prepare for the convention, the meeting of the pack at the Council Rock, where he must defend his right to lead. It's a time of adversity, but he finds comfort in the lives of two men after whom he's modeled his own life, MacDonald and King. This is the renowned portrait of uh, the first prime minister. Uh, this one is, was entitled Vision. This wisdom, courage, justice, moderation, toleration. Each and every one of these represented something important in uh, Mr. King's experience. There's an interesting panel here. It has no knob or door, and knob or lock, uh, but uh, it opens and provides an exit. Mr. King apparently desired it for that purpose. I presume that he used it for various reasons, provided him a means of getting out of the office without being seen by those who were waiting, might also have been a place for contemplation. He was a man that was tremendously interested in psychic matters, had a great faith in them. In the little office at the back of the chamber, on the day that Paris fell, uh, the Honorable R.B. Hansen, the Honorable Groat Sterling, and I called on Mr. King. He walked over to the fireplace. There was a clock over the fireplace. He stood immobile, unmoving for what seemed to be several minutes. And then he turned around, he said, we can't lose the war. We're going to win, that's certain. And now I can very well understand what happened. The great decisions were made uh, when the hour hand and the minute hand were in alignment. It must have been 20 minutes after 10. Do you want to picture the dog? Now, I have to tell you, Richard, that this is not happy two. This is happy one. This was taken, this picture was taken at uh, 24 Sussex, I have to tell you that. So that if it's present happy, uh, I, as I look at that picture, I see immediately that the, the paneling indicates that Happy one. Now, under those circumstances, you want happy two or happy one? There's one thing about happy. He knows when I'm in good humor and when I'm not. And, uh, he's been sick the last couple. Well, he's been very ill when I came, we came back from Toronto yesterday. yesterday. He's just so sad. He's just, his ears are turned down. And he looks at you and all. And it's just, he's so sick. So sick. He, he eats everything that he's not supposed to eat. You see, he's got a lot. He gets enough food at home, but he can pick up all the dirt on the streets. And not every picked up you know, the vet there. I get to the point today where you start 
and almost got to give him care as he she would member of the family and he's but he's so sad but to this morning he's fine when i got up there he was how he got up to how he got upstairs he came to my bedroom this morning about 5 30. see what what how things were around there the dawn patrol in rockcliffe park a man alone with his thoughts I don't know any other job that's as lonely, and that's been the experience of all who've occupied the position. Uh, the intimacies of a friendship are always interpreted as opportunities for advancement. And uh, the result is uh, that one is hedged in uh, by his position to a degree uh, that it's not understood. One's social life almost ceases to exist. Indeed, if personally I can say this, that without my wife it would be impossible to carry on or to have carried on. She has the infinite capacity of being able, when I enter the home, to close the door on problems and give me uh, that, that undivided uh, attitude of not appreciation, but of encouragement. You have to have someone who can tell you the facts, who can be your critic and know that the criticism comes from the heart. The most difficult position of all is the wife of a prime minister. And I was, I've been fortunate. What other so wellsprings of strength or sources of strength have you found as you at times had to go against the popular mood? That question is a personal one between me and my creator. The CN line from Saskatoon to Prince Albert is 87 miles long. It spans a lifetime. This is Hague. Uh, the school is still there, although it's been added to. We went to the homestead in 1905. I would be about 10 years of age. Uh, the first thing we did on arrival at the homestead was we outlined the area of the 160 acres. The next thing was to build a house. My father broke 30 acres of land in the first two years. My mother was a very powerful influence, but for her, the one's life would have been changed. My father came home in great glee one day. He had achieved agreement that I would join the Northern Crown Bank as a bank clerk. 
Everything had been arranged. Mother ended that. If it hadn't been for her, the course of my life would have been vastly different. Who knows, I might have been ended up as, as uh, Walter Gordon. <laughs> and one summer I taught school, taught under a license. There were only eight or 10 pupils in the school. And I used to go to the school at 7, 7.30 in the morning. They hadn't had any opportunities for education and I would work on till seven or eight at night. Those youngsters were very industrious, Russian youngsters mainly. However, in, in the month of September that year, the school inspector made a surprise visit. The late Dr. McGee. And uh, we'd been bothered with gophers in the yard and I was out shooting gophers. And gopher shooting wasn't on the curriculum that year. And that was the last time I had a license to teach school. In 1916, I, I immediately enlisted. I was injured in training. I spent quite a long time in hospital till about 1924, when uh, following surgery, I uh, regained a, I regained the physique that had been mine. In 1918, I went on with my law course. Graduated in law in 1919. I looked around for a place where there was lots of litigation. A little town southeast of Prince Albert Walker. More litigation than any other place of its size in Saskatchewan at that time. And I went there. I built up a very large practice. Have you ever been to a national park? Here? Yeah. No. Wasca Zoo? I should take you out there, even in the winter time, it's well worth seeing. Sir. And Mr. King defeated me with that in 1926. I said, you like me? I'll give you a park. They did, he did. It was as simple as that. There's Duck Lake. Uh, it's here where Almighty Voice uh, was imprisoned in 1898 escaped and killed the four or five uh, one of the one of the legendary cases of western canada that cbc should be engaged in in reproducing some of them are still alive that, that remember almighty voice who, who today still occupies a position of heroism in the hearts of the people that knew him it's only four miles east of here where gabriel dumont drove the buffalo over. It's eight miles from here where the last naval battle took place in North America in, uh, in uh, 1885, when the Northcott was sh shelled on the river. Uh, the Battle of Batash took place only uh, nine miles from here. The Battle of Duck Lake, only four miles east of here. And yet you go down into the southern parts of the United States for some person that lived in 1830 and reproduce his life, and here is living, living history. Louis Riel was captured within eight miles of here. That would have been a great defense to have been had. A lawyer today, a lawyer today wouldn't even have to address the jury. But the verdict would have been not guilty by reason of insanity. But I'm away now from where I was. Uh, and these are living things that you miss. That's what I can't understand. We'll have to do something about it. Well, I, uh, these, this is history. This is history. He, he, want, he, he loves Canada. And he wants everyone, uh, he wants Canada to be a wonderful nation. And he also wants uh, the, uh, morning, he wants the, um, the little man to have a chance, the working man. <laughs> they owe him a lot, quite a lot, in my estimation. Quite a lot. I think that uh, Peter Newman 
Uh, when he, during the election time, Peter Newman was writing some articles. He, 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 they were so biased.